sample size okay so the sample size this this again this is a very big process uh, big uh, topic sample size calculation okay but here i will give you just an idea that how sample size is important and sample size is basically based on four things uh, four things means uh, how much error you allow in your study because always there is an error you are working on sample that is also an error not error limitation but that is going to affect your result so in result there is an error because of this sampling okay so how much error you allow normally we fix it at five percent what is the power we want minimum power so we'll say 80 percent power will accept these two things we will fix this okay then what is the prior available information on your particular question objective based on these these three things we are able to collect the sample size so again sample size is not a unique sample size for all the study it depends on your particular objective aisa kuch nahi ki ram baan ki tarah hum ek hi baan chala diye sab khatam ho jayega no okay it's depending on your outcome measures your objective your study design so the result available that will get from the review of literature power we will fix 80 percent minimum error we will fix five percent we can increase also depending on the severity of your if it's related directly to the mortality then we can even accept one percent error not the five percent and based on these three things we'll able to calculate the sample okay so the sample size the formula of the sample size in any condition there are so many formulas depending on so many conditions but all the times it's based on these th the relation of four things sample size alpha okay error type 1 error beta type 2 error and the prior result and this is very important because the very simple concept okay if someone will conduct uh, a study on five sample and someone will conduct a study on 50 sample and i will ask with you that which result you are going to accept or you are saying which result is more appropriate okay without a single thought you will say okay 50 a study on the 50 is better how why why not the five one okay so it means that as you increase the sample means basically what you we are as as the sample size is increased we are able to reach to the accessible population maximum and if you increase further then you are able to reach the target population so if you are able to reach the target population whole target population that is the best study ideal study and that is the truth what we want to find out from the sample okay so as much your sample size increase and reach up to the target population that is the best study but it is not possible sometime we'll say not ethical also and not ethical means the resources are limited okay if you are earning 80000 so that 80000 you cannot spend all into your car you have so many other things also to do so same thing you cannot invest or waste all your energy for just one project there are so many research that is also required okay so if the result are consistent after certain sample size then why we'll collect more sample size so that's why we want at least the minimum so that we can say okay whatever the statement we are going to make that is acceptable by the research community that's the minimum sample size clear and in question terms the question may be asked okay the sample size formula is uh, uh, associated with okay so like it's associated with error that is called alpha type 1 error power beta type 2 error and prior result and none of the above all of the above okay so if this type of question come you can easily identify that okay it depend on this it depend on this it depend on this okay our opposite question the sample size is not depend on okay